you need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman visited the Challenger Learning Center Monday, August 22nd for a downlink with the International Space Station. The center hosted 13 schools from around the region, giving student representatives hands-on experience in a space-based learning environment. Today was an amazing day, and I, I think it was a great example of hope and a, a focus on the future because it was about our students, uh, especially our students right here in Eastern Kentucky, and, ha and them having the opportunity to do something that I'm not sure any of us would have ever imagined, which is talk to an astronaut while they're in space. And so when you think about um, you know, how far we've come and how far we still have to go and you know that that is in the hands of, of our young people, it gives you hope. And especially in a time where uh, families are struggling here in Eastern Kentucky, we've been on the ground uh, here with folks uh, for weeks on end now um, in, in the aftermath of the flood and to see kids smile and, and to know that they have this to look forward to and this opportunity was, was there for them, um, I think says everything we need to say about the way we come together uh, in the state of Kentucky. The students were able to ask Expedition 67 flight engineer Jessica Watkins about space travel, life in space, and more. What is the most difficult thing you had to overcome during training? You know, I think the most difficult part of training was not any one particular aspect necessarily, but just the combination of all of the different things that we had to um, learn and um, show proficiency in during training. The Downlink, part of a back-to-school campaign, launches the center's new interactive STEM program highlighting Artemis. Artemis will send astronauts to the moon to prepare for future human exploration of Mars. It's very important to have a place like this in Hazard and Appalachia because, you know, we're not a very big place and people don't really think, you know, much about, you know, Appalachia. And so having a place like this, learning about STEM and new technology is really important. And I think students, you know, who are from Appalachia will, can gain interest in these topics and you know move to be, be great inventors, great scientists. For more information on the Challenger Learning Center and to view the downlink, go to Challenger Learning Center of Kentucky on Facebook. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.